Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Joe Brim, Region 7 Director with Environmental Education Council of Ohio, and we're going to do a quick uh, career chat here. So I'm going to interview my friend Sarah here. I'll let you introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name's Sarah, and I am a former environmental educator, now a youth services librarian in Athens County. And Sarah, in your work as a youth services librarian, um, are there any connections you find with environmental education? Oh yeah, there are, are tons of connections, thankfully, because although a lot of my time is spent indoors nowadays, I have the opportunity to do programming outside with kids um, and also connect a lot of teens and adults to literature that um, that is very close to my heart, um, written by plenty of environmental educators. Are there any books you can think of that get kids excited about something in the natural world? You can almost make any book get a kid excited about something. Um, I guess an old favorite of mine is Quick as a Cricket by Audrey and Don Wood as a kid. But, you know, you can get kids excited about anything if you want to. Mm -hmm. And so are there any, um, is there any training or um, preparation that you would recommend someone do if they're interested in a career as a youth services librarian? Yes, I would spend as much time with kids as possible. Um, you probably have a library close to you somewhere. Um, I would suggest talking to your local librarians. Um, and the kids in your community. Um, a lot of librarians, not just youth services, come from different backgrounds and I think that is something that makes libraries very special and that the, the, the training that it involves is not, um, is, is not just on, focused on libraries. Although you can go to school for library sciences. Um, there are librarians who have studied language and science and um, some librarians who didn't even go to college but just had wonderful experiences that led them to where they are today. Great. And one of your marvelous experiences was working at a little place called Camp Odioka, right? Yes. Which is a Big Brothers Big Sisters camp in the Hocking Hills. Uh -huh. um, are there any lessons that you learned working as an environmental educator there that serve you well? in the library today? Oh my. Uh, yes. Um, Camp Odioqua really set me with a great base for um, hopefully growing up to be a kind and compassionate human. Um, I think something that sticks out immediately is part of their mission is example, 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 leading by example. Um, in whatever field you're in, whatever your job title is, I think it's always good to remember that you are an example, not just to kids, but to the other people around you. So. Okay, my last question. Is there a book you're reading now or that you read recently that you would recommend to environmental educators? No, I actually don't like reading. <laughs> just kidding. I don't believe you. Um, well... Right now, I'm reading a Peter Matheson book called The Snow Leopard, and that is a hearty read. A couple other authors that I think um, maybe many of you know about already are Terry Tempest and David James Duncan is another one. Um, kids books, I would highly suggest. Peter Parnall and Bird Baylor, fantastic illustrations and writings. And yeah, do you have any suggestions, Joe? You took the suggestions right out of my mouth. So go get them from your local library, everybody. And thank you very much, Sarah. Yeah. See ya.